Are you working on a course but you're nervous that it won't sell? Is your greatest fear putting your heart and soul into a course or an online program only for it to hear crickets when it's time for you to launch it? If you're really worried about creating a course that will ultimately flop, have no fear. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can know if your course will sell before you even create it. Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm an online entrepreneur as well as full-time wife and mom. I wear all the hats, I do all the things. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how you can know if your course is going to sell before you even create it. Now, this is super important and I felt like this was a subject that I really wanted to cover because if you can believe it, your girl has experienced her fair share of flops, right? So I've been online really since 2007, but officially since 2009. I've been an entrepreneur since 2015 and a full-time entrepreneur since 2016 and I've sold multi six figures worth of digital courses, products, etc, etc. And so while I've had some monumental launches, I'm talking high five figures, six figures worth of courses, I've also had my fair share of flops. And I wanted to share that with you because oftentimes new entrepreneurs think that if you are a big experienced entrepreneur that you are essentially flop proof and nothing could be further from the truth. It doesn't matter if you have 10,000 followers or 10 followers, if you do not follow the steps that I'm going to go over in this video, then you can guarantee that your course is not gonna sell. So I'm telling you, ignore these tips at your own risk. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, the first rule that you need to absolutely abide by if you want to know if your course or program is going to sell before you even create it, and that is, is the problem that your course is solving, is it a problem that people are already spending money on? Namely, that your target market is already spending money on. Now this is a problem that I see those who are in personal development and in the life coaching space make because they tend to focus on creating courses and programs that solve problems that are more broad. And truth be told, people really don't spend money to improve their life. They really don't spend money to, I don't know, achieve their purpose or all these kind of catchphrases that are very popular in that industry. They spend money to achieve very specific results or to achieve very specific goals. So you need to ask yourself, what is the end result that my target market is ultimately looking to solve? And are they already spending money on that? Now when I say, are they already spending money on that, they might not be spending money on a course and that's okay, but are they at least spending money on a book on the same topic? Are they going to conferences on this topic? Do they hire other professionals about this topic? Are they spending money on some product or some service somewhere that addresses this topic? If they are, that's an excellent sign that your course has a shot at being a sellout once you launch it. All right, the second rule that you really need to follow is, is your course relevant right now? This is a big one. You might have an amazing course idea that does target a problem that people are spending money on, but the question is, are they spending money on that thing right now? Is it relevant right now based on what's going on in the world or what would be going on in their personal lives? So as I'm recording this, we are all experiencing the health issue that shall not be named for fear of YouTube demonetization. And many of us are stuck at home. We can't go anywhere. You know, we don't want to spread this around. And so we're just really kind of chilling at home. So maybe you had anticipated coming out with a course that was gonna help people maybe travel hack or put together these amazing uh, trips abroad using just credit card points or I don't know, I'm not a travel hacker, but maybe you know some really special tips. Even though people do spend money on travel, they do spend money on budget travel, uh, travel hacking, trying to find this information. There are a ton of books and resources out there that people are already spending money on. The question is, is that relevant right now though? Are they spending money on that right now given everything that's going on in the world? And so I just have to tell you this because I don't want you to put your heart and soul into a course that might be a good idea, but is something that because of what's going on either externally or internally in people's lives, that's not something that they're focused on. Also, you wanna take a look at what's going on internally in people's lives. So you have to look at your target market and say, you know what, if I'm targeting new moms who are dealing with you know, newborns that are not sleeping through the night, maybe, telling them how to look fabulous at a cocktail party 
though they have spent money on those things previously, is not exactly relevant based on where they are in their life right now. So you need to look at what's going outside in the world, but also what's going on in their world in order to determine if your course topic is actually relevant. And if you need more help with understanding these things, I highly recommend that you download my free Irresistible Course Idea Workbook. It goes over similar rules to this in terms of coming up with a good and profitable course idea. I actually give you five strategies in that. And so I highly encourage you to download it. It's completely free, it's very detailed. And if you go through all of the five steps that I outline in that workbook, you will walk away with a profitable course idea. So go ahead and download that now at CourtneyLSanders.com slash course idea. All right, shifting gears a little bit, the next rule that you really need to follow is less about your actual course content, you know, is the topic good or is the topic relevant, and more about your course price. That's right, you guessed it. Is your course priced appropriately? Is the price right? I don't know. And so I have a whole nother video that I encourage you to check out that's all about how to properly price your course. However, knowing whether or not your course will sell does come down to price and you would be surprised it's not always that your course is priced too high sometimes your course doesn't sell because it's priced too low now pricing there are a, a lot of different variables some of it does have to do with the comprehensiveness of your course obviously the more comprehensive your course is the more you want to charge for it but a lot of it has to do with your own personal following and how you are perceived in the marketplace some of it has to do with how you are selling this course in the frame of your entire business model and what exactly you're using this course for. Is this a core program that you sell? Is this a high ticket program that's more in the back end? Is this kind of like a loss leader that you sell in order to get people into your world? So there's a lot of strategy that goes into pricing, but knowing the correct price for the course that you are creating is a guaranteed way to know if your course is going to sell before you even create it. All right, before I get into the rest of the rules, I wanna hear from you. Are you working on a course right now? I'd love to hear the topic. Go ahead and share the course you're working on in the comments below. All right, the fourth rule that will determine whether or not your course will sell is if you have a strategy to sell it. That's the question. Do you have a strategy to sell your course? Now, it is not enough to create this fabulous course and then say, hey world, I created this course, now it's time for you to buy it. I'm sorry, but it doesn't really work that way. You need an entire digital marketing strategy to make sure that the masses even see your course. And I see a lot of course flops not because the course was bad or that it was priced inappropriately or that it wasn't relevant or any of the other things that we've discussed previously, but the course flopped simply because the person creating it did not have a good digital marketing strategy in order to drive awareness about their course and ultimately to get sales. So that again is a whole nother subject. If you would like me to do a video on digital or internet marketing, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. But it's very important that as you are creating your course, you're also thinking through the marketing strategy strategy that you want to use to actually sell that course once you finish it. All right, and the fifth rule that you must follow is you must have the systems in place in order to sell your course, or rather, you must have the systems in place in order to execute on that strategy that we talked about in rule number four. So maybe you know the strategy that you wanna use in order to market your course. Maybe you're like, I'm gonna come up with this amazing webinar that's gonna blow people out of the water. I'm gonna come up with this awesome you know, email challenge. And if you're thinking about different strategies and free email opt-ins that you can use to kind of incentivize people to ultimately buy your course, I highly recommend you check out the video that I have on that subject all about the best freebies that you can use to grow your email list and ultimately sell your products. But nevertheless, even if you have a strategy, it's very important that you have the systems in place. So it is not enough to say, I wanna do this three-day video challenge. I wanna do this webinar. Do you have the correct software? Do you have the correct email automation tools? Do you have the correct landing page uh, software? Do you have the right shopping carts and payments? Payment processing and if you're doing funnels do you have all that technical stuff behind the scenes do you understand it do you know how to put it together do you know how to make it work for whatever it is that you're selling so that kind of goes hand in hand with the strategy because you may want to do a strategy that you've seen another entrepreneur do to launch their course but you need to ask yourself do you have the systems in place in order to pull that off right so here's a little industry secret a lot of the big launches that you see online and i i know this because i was personally a part of one a lot of these you know seven figure and multi seven figure launches 
are because that entrepreneur is working with affiliates. So that's just an example. And so they might have a lot of affiliates behind the scenes promoting this product during the course launch and helping them launch it. So you might be aware of that and saying, oh, you know, this is really cool. This great entrepreneur had all of my other favorite entrepreneurs, you know, promoting her product as an affiliate. I want to do that too for my course launch. But the question is, do you even have the systems in place to track affiliate sales? Do you know how you're going to pay your affiliates when it's all said and done? Do you have, you know, cookie link tracking that follows people over the internet after they click a link and it knows how to assign it to your various affiliates? Like <laughs> these systems can get very, very technical. So you never want to choose a strategy that you don't also have the systems for to back up. So the fifth rule is really important. You need to be aware of the systems necessary in order to launch your course. And you need to make sure that you have them set up ahead of time. All right, so those are the five rules or questions you need to ask yourself in order to determine, is your course going to sell? However, before your course is even going to sell, you need to have a course to sell in the first place. And so if you're still kind of stuck on that course idea, I highly recommend that you download my irresistible course idea workbook. It's completely free. It's a new workbook that I've come up with and it's very detailed and it will walk you through the process of coming up with a course idea that is guaranteed to sell if you then follow all the steps that I've outlined in this video. So go ahead and download that workbook at CourtneyLSanders.com slash course idea. All right, so thanks so much. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that notification bell and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I create a new video. I do new videos every week. And if you want even more, I highly recommend you subscribe to my podcast. It's just The Courtney Sanders Show on iTunes and Spotify. I talk about business, personal development, what's going on in my personal life, all kinds of stuff that you might find interesting. And if you want even more right, right now, if you want me on the daily, make Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Courtney L. Sanders. I give lots of business tips daily, sometimes multiple times a day on my Instagram feed. And I love interacting with you. So feel free to hit me up in the DMs and I'll be like, hey girl, hey, and we'll chat it up. So with that, I'll see you in the next video and thanks so much for watching. Bye.